Hi friends, the Great Wall of China, an iconic civil engineering structure um, which stretches across 13,000 miles was built by Ming Dynasty. But do you know what materials were used while building this structure? If you say wood, brick, mud, stones, you are absolutely right. But surprisingly, they also used sticky rice mortar. Now, this was made up of rice flour and uh, lime. And this has helped it endure for centuries because of its strong binding properties. Now, you would say what has uh, the Great Wall of China to do with AI? Then let me tell you, uh, it's not just about the Greater Wall of China, but about this entire industry that is civil engineering. It's very sad to see that uh, this industry, which is highly labor intense and uh, unsafe, it has seen some of the slowest technological advancement. In fact, it has recorded almost one in five deaths, uh, which happens in this industry and we are still struggling uh, to advance in this um, industry. But when I uh, ha was fortunate enough to listen to HD Hyundai's CEO, Kishun Chung, uh, where he mentioned about how this industry is going to revolutionize, uh, it showed me a ray of hope. And uh, I thought, why not share this uh, experience with you all as well. So let's see what transformation HD Hyundai has to offer to this industry. Before we talk about the transformation that HD Hyundai is bringing in, it's important for us to know a little bit more about this company, HD Hyundai. Now, this is one of the largest South Korean conglomerate uh, which operates and engages in shipbuilding, heavy equipments, machinery and petroleum energy. When we talk about this company, it started in a very small village in shipping business. Uh, the village name was Ulsan and uh, it started in 1972, but eventually it grew into uh, global heavy industries. In fact, in 2022, they actually changed their name from Hyundai Heavy Industries Group to HD Hyundai, marking their 50th anniversary. So, if I have to say, there are three areas in which this company operates. Number one is uh, shipping uh, business with the name HD Korea Shipping and Offshore Engineering. Second one is uh, machinery or equipments uh, where it is called as HD Hyundai Excite Solution. Third one is uh, into energy where it is called as HD Hyundai, HD Hyundai Oil Bank. So let's uh, know more about now the transformation. In his keynote, Kisun Chung actually unveiled his uh, vision through the transformation which is known as Excite Transformation. This transformation takes into account AI, robotics, sustainability, safety and overall collaboration. It actually won't be wrong to say that this is redefining uh, the future of construction. On top of uh, this, we would also say that it is completely transforming when it comes to the productivity, sustainability and safety the way we uh, currently build. He mentioned and uh, came up with key facts uh, like he mentioned that currently uh, there were like almost 4000 jobs in construction in US went unfilled. And after 10 years, there is, uh, you know, when he looked at the numbers, it was like 3.2 million jobs uh, or workers will be required to in construction industry. But uh, how would we fulfill uh, all these uh, requirements was a challenge. So he mentioned there are two things that we need. One is intelligent machines which takes care of all the uncertainty and variability. 
Secondly is uh, intelligent processes. Now these intelligent processes would be combination of intelligence, automation and digital process automation as well. And excite transformation is an answer for both these things. Now let's talk about excite transformation. Um, this cutting edge technology of AI and robotics is at the heart of this visionary concept. So something good to know. The other thing is uh, it's actually a shift from a traditional hardware based solutions to completely intelligent and software driven approaches which will come into play when it comes to construction operations. There are four components of this excite transformation. First one is about future excite. Now future excite is all about next generation equipments to an extent uh, high end uh, equipments to an extent when uh, these are autonomous equipments as well unmanned machines the other thing that they are talking about is uh, twin excite now twin excite is about um, the site being maintained as a digital twin um, and uh, remotely monitored now this word digital twin is new for you but uh, just let me explain you in a simple word it's a visual a virtual presence of an real object where uh, it um, maps the entire lifespan of the object all the data that comes to the object is passed here there are some simulations which are possible and uh, accordingly the behavior of uh, behavior of the object is actually uh, monitored for us to predict how these things will work in a set of environment. Confused? Don't worry, I'll uh, create an altogether a new video on digital twin definitely. But in simple words, it's an ideal reality mirror of a real object. Moving ahead, the third thing they spoke about is Zero Excite. Now, Zero Excite, where they showcased uh, their experience and capa technological exp uh, uh, capabilities in the area of green energy. Uh, that entire value chain that they bring in in terms of uh, fuels like hydrogen. So, that will be an answer to sustainability. The other thing, uh, last but not the least, they mentioned about XWISE. Now, XWISE in a, is an AI based platform which orchestrates this entire show. Sitting behind the decks, you are actually managing the entire construction site. Can you imagine? So, complete interaction between the machines between uh, these platform, the digital twin and all of it is completely integrated. And for real time updates, there are drone flights which will be taken uh, across the um, site which will give, uh, give them more realistic information as well. And accordingly, they can work and improve their efficiency and also maintain high safety standards uh, at the site. Hope you liked today's video. It was something new you came to know about not only AI but also in the area of civil engineering that what's coming up next. And that's why I keep saying stay updated and be future ready.